viewers. Super GT here, how are we doing? For the last sort of seven months now, I've had a BMW M2 competition and there's lots of things I love about the car. There's a couple of things I would like to change and we're gonna go through all of those things in this video. But also, we're gonna actually change a couple of things, which is why I've come here to Auto ID. So we're gonna get a couple of uh, parts done here and then head over to Motec to get a real big boy upgrade. But a couple of little changes we're gonna to make today. So auto idea, we're gonna, well, should we go and have a look? Let's go and have a look. Let's go and find uh, Jack. Ah, here he is. <laughs> Mr. Jack, how are we doing? Yeah, not too bad. You caught me off guard there. Hey, <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. Um, what have you got for me? Well, mate, you have, you, you've, you've got a kitted out car already. Um, so we struggled to find somewhere to add on, but luckily we've got some side blades for you today and they're going to complete the bottom end of this car. One of the common complaints of the M2 Comp is those rear reflectors. We've got the uh, golden wrench rear reflector uh, stickers which are going to go on the back as well. Yeah, so one of the things I, I was going for when I bought this car was obviously it's white, you can see that, but then you've got a lovely sort of black trim around, around most of the bottom of the car. So we've got this black here and lots of black trim. What we don't have yet is anything on the side, as you can see. Where are these side plates? Let's have a look. So these are gonna go on the side, and then we've got some reflectors to go over the back here. Pressure's on. <laughs> there you go. First He's go. done it. There we go. There go. Yeah. If you run your finger over it, you can feel the honeycomb. Oh yeah, there um, we go effect but yeah looks black but still reflects which is great all right two out of two here we go oh he's a pro <laughs> he's... Well, this side skirt the way this curves in here yeah do you know what i mean you can see exactly how it's made for it yeah well, it's perfect. perfect see here with the front splitter this is what i got originally with the car comes away from the from the front end there. So now we have the side blade on. It's very not uh, very tidy indeed. Just completes the look. You got the front. And now we've got the side. We've also got the back. The diffuser. There it is. Now I don't know if this car has enough downforce. I don't know, I don't know if I'm being silly here. But no, I kind of like this wing. Here we go, there's the big, <laughs> the big boy upgrades. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, oh yeah, my this goodness. Is this is like need for speed now. So this oh, look is look at that. The front wing, and then you have the side blades that uh, touch on the end there. Obviously I mean, I'll be able to go around corners at what, 200 after this? <laughs> it's actually got uh, 600 kilo kilograms of downforce. That's, like, that's a lot of downforce. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually quite tempted. Yeah, it does look good. <laughs> If you feel the weight of it as well. Yeah. Oh God, yeah, it can lift that up with one hand. Yeah, yeah. So wow. that's, yeah, full pre pro carbon. So wow. It will go really well with the kit. Actually. I might have to come back for that. Jack, <laughs> legend, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for coming down. Check out the guys at Auto ID. Fantastic work. Cheers, guys. Appreciate it, mate. Legend. Yeah, See you later on. Cheers. side blade I don't know it's such a small thing but it makes the car look so much different I think that's really good that's a really good change so I really like that one of the big things that I don't like about this car is the aesthetics on the exhaust I mean look at that it's like the designer took inspiration from cow udders Cow wadders, yeah, they look great, don't they? Well, unfortunately on this car, it doesn't. So, I'm gonna head off to Motec and we're gonna get that off and we're gonna get a brand new exhaust on, which will also be louder. So that's actually the main reason we're doing it. All right, so here we are at Motec. Mr. Mike, Hi, how viewers. are you? Not too bad in yourself? Yeah, very good. What have you got for me? Today, because we've been speaking a little bit on your Instagram, we're going to sort out the rear of this car because yeah. it's horrendous. It doesn't sound like an M car, so we'll sort that out. So black tailpipes to keep the white and black theme going, get rid of the horrible BMW system and fit the Remus. You know, it's going to be something special. Perfect. Let's get on with it. Crack on. There we 
go. Let's have a look. The money shot. There they are. Got to unsheath it. Oh, look at that. Yeah? You, yeah, I love that. So it's obviously got the gloss black on the top, titanium R, and then obviously the satin black inside. Beautiful. And we'll line them up so slightly staggered as well. Yeah. So the ones in the inside will be sort of slightly protruding out more sure, than the yeah, others yeah. to sort of follow the contour of the bumper. But yeah, you happy with them? Yeah, yeah. Good perfect. choice. They look really good. They yeah, look perfect. really good. Here it is then. Yeah. So that's what it's going to look like. Yeah, that's the rear section of an M2. Yeah. yeah. So you're and going got, for this tailpipe. We've got these tailpipes. Yep. I think they look really good, especially with the white and black theme. Yeah, yeah. The theme yeah. of the car, the white and black. I think that will go really well. Definitely it matches your wheels, obviously. Yet again, with the diamond cut back of the face, and obviously the gloss black part. There'll be yep. two cats, two OPF filters, and then the rear is straight from there backwards. Looks good to me. Awesome. Let's get it on the car. Now you can really see that cow udder, there it is. There's a ridiculous amount of space above that box. I don't know why it's like this, but there you go. Okay, so they're just working on the car at the moment. It's gonna take a while for them to change the exhaust. It's not like a, a five minute job. So this is a, a good chance, I suppose, to talk about the things I don't so much like about the car. I've had it for seven months. And as I said, it is a car I love. And I've moaned about it incessantly, but the Kawada, the, the aesthetics on the, the exhaust, it's not a good look, and I'm very happy to be changing that. Now, apart from that, the manual gearbox. I do love the manual, and I wouldn't change it, given the choice. But I'd say in sort of first and second gear, it can certainly feel a little bit clunky. So driving it in like London, for example, it is a little bit of hard work. A lot of people ask me about the interior. The interior is sort of nothing flashy. It's just very functional. It does the job very well, very comfortable. Everything's in the right place, so interior is just fine. I'm not a massive fan of the rims on the car. That's probably something I will change in the future, the rims. Um, probably get some black rims. We are getting close to them uh, finishing, putting on the exhaust. Yep. So we'll have to rely on all that as well under the floor, but now obviously it's completely out of the way. Hidden obviously that box, there's two, there's another one above there, so it's quite nice and compact. It's so much tidier. Oh, completely. So Just a much lot tidier, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So taking out that centre box with the pipework, yep. and the centre box you originally was right next to you just there. Yep. So remove that and half the size of that. Be a big difference. Yep. Wait till you hear it start up. Here we go then, guys. This is it. The big moment. <laughs> Guy's just driven off with my car. That's it, it's done. My car's gone, everyone. Oh no, he's coming back, here he is. Oh my goodness. That is ridiculous. So I'm sure you'll agree, that sounds damn awesome. I'm gonna have a lot of fun driving this thing around now. Got the big old tailpipes. And there's no, it's so, so much tidier under there. So it just looks a lot better, sounds a lot better. This is a big win-win situation for everyone. Apart from my neighbors. Mike from Motec, thank you so much. Welcome, thank awesome. you very much. Awesome, that is incredible. Glad you're happy. We'll get some pictures of whatever else and do some vlogs on it, but glad you're happy. Awesome. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, yeah. all, that <laughs> all that good stuff. Yeah. Okay, so we've got all the upgrades, the Remus, 
the side skirt and the rear deflator. So let's have a look at it all right. Let's summarize it for you. So side skirt, deflector, Remus quite dark down there, but you can kind of see it. It's a lot tidier. And then the big exhaust tips. I don't know about you. Okay, look, let's have a look at this. I think just those side skirts, they just bring the whole look of the car home, you know? It just brings it all home. So we've got the front splitter, then now we've got the side skirts, or side blade, and then it goes along with the spoiler and the diffuser on the back. So you've got this nice white and black theme going along. So I'm here with my mate Ash. Say hello, Ash. What's up, how's it going? How's it going, viewer? Not bad. <laughs> so, the M2, what, what do you reckon? What do you reckon after the upgrades? It's a lovely car, mate. I mean, obviously they've got so much potential being the S55 instead. The Remus sounds insane. Like, I don't really know how you're gonna get away with that on a cold start. So, Ash, do you reckon? Do you reckon I can uh, finish better than sixth place now with these upgrades? <sighs> I don't know, mate. But now, it's time to give it a drive and see how it performs on the road, see how it sounds. You gotta check this out, the burbles. Oh, it's gone off. <laughs> I am so getting a Nasbo after this. This is ridiculous. It's all over. Yeah, this it's, is all, it. it's all done. I'm in prison now by the time I've actually released this video. This is the end of Super Steve. <laughs> He's done. All right, Ash has got the car. Let's hope he doesn't bin it and send it into the hedge. <laughs> that sounds so good, oh my goodness. I don't know if the video even does it justice, you just have to come here and hear it for real, in person. Here we go again. Yep, <laughs> I think that's loud enough. I think that is loud enough. I can st st I can still hear it and that's about 10 miles away. I think that Remus exhaust is a solid upgrade, both in sound and aesthetics. I can't be more pleased with, with that upgrade. It is, it is amazing, absolutely amazing. All right, everyone, that is it. After driving that just now, it is unreal. It's, this car has been taken to another level. I'm gonna enjoy it even more. I mean, I loved it as it was, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy it even more. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on the upgrades. Let me know you, what, we, what you would do to a BMW M2 or your own car. Let me know what, you, what, what projects you've got going on and what you're gonna be doing to your cars. But in the meantime, stay safe and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, goodbye. <laughs>